Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Seriously, bro. Okay. Welcome to Thor News. I'm going to try something different this time. I'm just going to put up a single still image taken by the NASA Lasco C3 satellite telescope robot camera. That I think is like in the Lagrange point. Wait, what? Okay, yeah. I don't want to get too far off subject here. What I'm trying to say is this. I'm trying to interpret it like we were hanging out in the Soho Yahoo of like Greenboro, New York. I think that's a place. I'm totally pretty sure positive that, that that's approximately a place in New York. And so we're, we're standing there looking at a piece of art and that someone, man or woman, that you're attracted to is there. And you've had some wine or beer to drink, so you go a little overboard trying to impress them with your passion for art, okay? That's the game we're gonna play. I'll do it here on the video, and you can do it in the comments section. So we're looking at still from today, which is Orion takes the first step to our new space exploration future. December 5th, 2014. I believe this still is from 734 Universal Time. That's weird. Never seen a still like that. What we're seeing here is the sun making a statement on a day where the Lockheed Martin division of Hogwarts NASA totally Kevin bacon it. Like, real life was footloose. And they got their groove on in an artistic dance of profession. Sure as hell ain't easy. And so, is the sun saying, I'm about to be free. A new era has begun. I've been in a box, in a cage, under the stairwell with the Dursleys and Cinderella's stepsisters. I've been forgotten about, ignored. You've let all my solar fleet cameras go to shit. Stop talking about solar energy like it was a legitimate source of damn near eternal energy. You know what? Those days are over. Hey, from the Thor News side of it, man, we don't hate nobody. We forgive everybody. So if someone was bad at their job, you're just happy when someone good at that job gets put in place, right? So no disrespect to our president, Barack Obama. But I think the son's saying, as far as the space president, you aren't really that good, man. <laughs> I mean, that was just not your cup of tea, bro. That was, your heart wasn't in it, you know? Today when I watched the Orion, all I could think was, whoa, we can colonize the moon we can solve the radiation problem. Mars, Ceres. I don't really want to colonize Europa because Asimov and Kubrick warned us about that planet, moon. And uh, Kubrick's a badass. A smart man. And I thought, crap, man. I can't wait to go up in a spaceship. Either the Orion, or I invite Elon Musk to build like a Pleiades party bus for people who want to get up and take a spin, like a one day spin around the earth. And you know, we're gonna start needing to put up decent types of defense mechanisms against asteroids. Dang, right now. You know, why not just giant metal harpoons made of iron, like blunt heads, you know, and we just fire them at the asteroids. A lot of these asteroids are just rubble piles. People are like, well, you just break it up into little pieces. Well, we've seen that the Earth atmosphere melts a lot of the littler pieces down and nothing. And there's like a protective shield nobody can even explain. So, you know, have we tried the big giant harpoon theory? It was kind of a dumb concept to land on a comet, but uh, if you're gonna try and break up a giant rock, seems okay. You know, just fire a giant train track nail at it. Unless, of course, it's it's made of all metal, then. I don't know. We're just kicking ideas here, man. You know, our space program is <laughs> just got out of the cage. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's what this photo is showing me. Is This is what represents us. Man. Sometimes I get a little too optimistic, so forgive me. But at the moment, it sure feels good to have our space program back. I can't remember the last time I, I was really proud of an overall American accomplishment. Because as everything else in America seems to go the way of Disney, I'd appreciate it if our space program did not. You know, crap, a couple months ago I was like, do, do any Air Force guys work for NASA? <laughs> like... How can they suck this bad if the Air Force guys are there, you know? Because Air Force guys are cool. Air Force guys are badass. Anyway, short video about this. Crap, it's never short. All right, so that was my artistic interpretation of this one photo of the sun. 
here on Orion Day. And remember, Orion is the only man I'm aware of in the celestial heavens that are above us every night. And he's super cool to me, not only because, you know, he's hanging out above me every night, but he's so cool. He's got a horse, a dog, a bear, and a bull. Man, if a horse, a dog, a bear, and a bull are just following you around, you're one cool dude, you know? That's why I think there's a chance all seven Pleiades sisters were in love with him. They got to fight, arguing, they all wanted to marry him. But then they decided, we'll share him. And then Mars got jealous, tried to kidnap him. So Ryan popped Mars with his bow. I don't know about that. Like, I can't verify it. So, uh, like I said, this, today's video is all about imagination. Because uh, you got to see your good dreams if you're going to make them come true. God bless everybody. Let's have a great weekend. Wait, wait. In my world, you're a striking young lady. In my world, in my fantasy, I guess I'm saying, you're a beautiful woman. Just looking at you makes my head all fuzzy and what makes me dumb. And that's kind of fun feeling for like short periods of time, I guess.